Hey guys, thanks for following along with our sharpening series. Now that we got our knife sharp, it's important that we understand how to maintain that edge for as long as possible. As we do food prep, we're banging our edge off to one side or the other. If we were just to keep using this knife without realigning the edge, the burr is going to keep folding over and over, thus dulling our knife quickly. Whenever someone comes into the shop for a new knife, we always recommend that they purchase themselves a honing tool. We highly recommend these ceramic rods. We like to recommend the black rod for harder steel knives and the white rod for softer steel knives. The hard steel that most Japanese knives are made with needs a hard surface to be realigned with. That's why we like this fine black rod. It's rated at around 8,000. This white rod is a little bit more coarse. That works much better for softer steel because softer steel is a little bit more malleable and it needs something more abrasive to realign it. When using one of these ceramic rods, the safest way we found was to hold it down on the surface with a towel for stability. We also like this method because we look the rod straight on and we can control the angle much better that way. We start at the tip holding around a 15 degree angle for Japanese knives and we pull the knife down to the tip in one clean motion. We do this about four to six times on each side with just a couple, amount, couple pounds of pressure at the most. Another one of our favorite tools at the shop is this double-sided strop. One side is suede, the other side is leather. We mostly use the suede side in the sharpening process in between the water stones for cleaning up the microscopic burr. We also apply some of this green coromium oxide compound to give it a little bit of extra zip. It also helps polish the edge and makes it look beautiful. It's really simple to use. We always just need to make sure when using the strop that our edge is trailing and not going into the strop. So starting at the bottom, we push the knife up in one clean motion. We flip the knife over and drag it back just slowly and accurately. No need to go fast. Sometimes we can hear the bull, the burr being pulled off. Now we flip it over to our leather side for the final stage in the sharpening process. This nice smooth leather side will ensure that we pick up any of the tiny, tiny little micro burr that's left over and also this helps polish the edge. Now that our knife is sharp, it's time to get cooking. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, as well as Facebook. If you have any more questions, please, by all means, give us a shout info at cooksedge.com or come down to the shop and visit us, 63 Ponnell Street. Thanks for watching.